The price of freedom is the illusion of safety. And this applies to just about anything in life. Whether that's business, whether that's relationships, whether that's, you know, it, it, friendships, whether that's anything. So many of us will die slow deaths chasing the illusion of safety, right? We lock ourselves into these jobs we hate. We lock ourselves into these ladders that we get to the top of and realize we never wanted to climb. We lock ourselves into relationships because we think it's more safe. The fact is it's not. That job could get yoinked out from under you with a little layoff. That ladder that you're climbing could get kicked out from under you at any point. That perfect family that you have might be crumbling as we speak. And I'm sorry if it is. But the price of freedom is the illusion of safety. And what so many people will say is I want to be free. I want to start my own. I want to start my own thing. I want to go out. I, you know what? I just want to. I want to go out. I want to have that peaceful relationship. I want to have that job. I want. You know, I want to work for myself. I want to have that business. I get a lot of people that say, Chelsea, you, you, you just seem so free. Yeah, that's because I had to let go of my safety. I had to let go of everything that I thought was safe. I had to leave jobs. I had to get fired from jobs. I had to learn that I was not safe in what society told me was safe. I had to leave a marriage because that's what society told me was safe. That's what I thought was safe. I thought, okay, well, at least I'm married. At least that's one box checked. I had never felt more trapped. I had never felt more unhealthy. I had never felt more unsafe in that marriage. I had never felt more unsafe when I was in a job that I was worried I was gonna get fired from. And I think that's the thing that we're neglecting here is, you know, if it calls to you to step into something, again, whether that's stepping into singlehood because the relationship you're in is actively draining you, or whether that's stepping into a project that you've been wanting to start, whether that's stepping into a career you want to start. Maybe it's stepping into doing your own thing. I don't know. Or maybe it's just stepping into being that like wild person who just spins in the middle of a hike just for no reason other than you were enjoying the music. Or that person who laughs. Or that person who finds things fun. Or that person who sees things in this beautiful, almost childlike way because all of a sudden everything seems so simple and things don't have to be that complicated. Whatever you're wanting to step into, there's freedom. And we all say we crave freedom, don't we? We all want that freedom. We all want that financial freedom. We all want that space to just be who we truly are. That's why we work so hard. It's why we give up and compromise and sacrifice so much because we think there's gonna be freedom on the other end of it. But I'll tell you this, to be truly free, means to give up the illusion of safety. The illusion that your safety is going to come from some other structure or from some other behavior or from some other pattern or anything. Because here's the secret about safety. You are always safe. When you choose freedom over the illusion of safety, here's what happens. You begin to realize that no matter what happens, no matter what falls apart on you, you're always gonna make it work. No matter what falls apart on you, you there is something in you that is always going to pick up the pieces and say, okay, what do I do with this now? People who are addicted to the illusion of safety don't have that. People who are still convincing themselves that their job is safer than following what their calling is, following that burning little heart flame that just keeps wanting them to go do that own thing. People who are addicted to the family that has been crumbling for a while or the partner that has been draining them for a while because, well, that's my safety. You know, they support me. They're, you know, at least they're there. At least they're safe. That's all an illusion. And if they were to step away and choose freedom instead, what would happen is they'd say, okay, well, my life might suck for periods of time, but I'm always going to be okay. I'm always going to make it work. 
And that's something that I've known for a long time since I started business for myself way back when I started my own fir my first lash studio, is no matter what, I always had the ability to drum up more business. Some days I had to bust my ass, but I always had the ability to go out and make enough that I would survive. And then I had enough money to make enough that I would be doing okay. And then it grew to the point where I knew that I could make enough to thrive. Even if I had to work harder some months, even if I had to stress a little more some months, I knew that I could do it within myself. And that's where the safety is. That's where the true safety is, is the fact that you can make it work for yourself. Same thing with relationships. You know, the whole bird in a hand is worth two in a bush thing doesn't apply these days. It really doesn't. But when you go out and you say, you know what? I'm gonna choose freedom, I'm gonna choose peace. What ends up happening is there becomes this underlying confidence and this underlying safety that okay, you know, you know what, no matter what, I know I'm always gonna be okay. I know that if this partner doesn't work, I'm gonna be okay single, that's fine. And that's where the freedom is. And let me tell you something, when you choose freedom, there's nothing like it. That's when you start living. That's when you start really enjoying life. That's when you start seeing through the whole facade of everything. That's when you stop feeling trapped. That's when you stop blaming other people. That's when you stop feeling at the mercy of other people. And that was one thing that I swore when I chose freedom in multiple different areas of my life. I swore that I would never be at anyone's mercy. And that is what freedom gives you. And the cost of that freedom is the illusion of safety. Because what you get back in return is actually a double reward. You get the freedom and you get the safety of knowing that you're gonna be okay, even when circumstances are not. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. From the other side of the fence, hello, the grass really is greener and it's worth it, I promise. If you have the courage to step into it, it's totally worth it. Happy healing.